penetrator here. We're off to a block drain. That's right, a blocked stormwater. Look at those clouds in the sky. How good are they? Need more rain, more rain, more blocked stormwaters. I've already missed a few stormwaters because I can't get there quick enough because it is just me. And um, yeah, people want them done straight away and I can only do what I can do. So that's life. But we're off to one now. Uh, the lady said she was concerned that it was coming through her window seal. I, I don't really know how that works out. Um, if it's a block stormwater pipe, but I'll get there and then I'll understand what she's talking about, I guess. But she's a little bit stressed because we had a bit of rain and uh, yeah, it was, it was flooding in her front yard. We have like all this, all this fine weather and no rain and it's a perfect opportunity to get stuff fixed. And then as soon as it rains, people go nuts and panic and, and just want you there straight away. <laughs> and I'm like, y you've had like, you've had like all year. <laughs> it's been fine for ages. We could have got it fixed ages ago. But I guess that's just human nature. But no, all good. I guess, um, yeah, it's nice and cloudy. It is cloudy. More rain is predicted tomorrow. Righto, I'll see you when I get there. So we have a block storm water. When I put the camera up, it stops about there. And then when I pull the camera head back, it is covered in clay mud. So there's definitely dirt or a broken pipe or something through this section. Um, and then we go up here, the customer dug a little bit of a trench, a little safety trench, because this whole area through here was flooding and encroaching on her, on her windowsill. So I've had a look over here. Hey mate, he's drowning, we'll save him, get him out of there. But under there, there's a screwed cap that's got no cap on it. So when it was raining, it was bubbling up out of here. And that's full of mud too. The toad can wait there and keep an eye on this area when we come past. Uh, she's just had a fence done up there. And when the guy was doing the fence, he's pulled this bit of 90 mil PVC out of the ground. They don't know where it was going or what it was for, which is really interesting. Maybe it joined onto that somehow. I, I have no idea. So let's go fire up this jetter and we'll start jetting from there and see if I can get through. And then just take it from there and see what happens. Got a few cones out and we have the traffic control officer making sure no cars come flying around that corner and into the jetting trailer. Need to turn the fuel on. Okay. No battery, eh? Far out. Oh man, how did that happen? Round two. A little bit about me, I am the most unmechanically minded person or bloke around. Engines and motors, I, I just have no idea about. So, the Jetta wouldn't start, and I thought, oh, it's the battery. Somehow I, I left that, that key on or something, and it's run itself dry. So I packed everything up, went and got the battery tested, tested okay. Then I was scratching my head what it could be, and guess what? This e-stop button, emergency stop, I've somehow bumped it, and yeah, that's why it wouldn't start. 
<laughs> um, I've had to give the customer some reassurance that I, I know what I'm doing when it comes to plumbing. We've had a good laugh about it. So let's get back to business and try and get this drain sorted for her. Shocker, just tripped over me um my jetting hose. Look at it. Three to four meters up from here is where that clay dirt was. So let's see if we can get through this. doesn't feel like it wants to go through.
that's all just clay. Jack, block. Okay, we'll give this a go. We'll see if this works, eh?
do tree roots a lot of mud a lot of mud So I'm about seven or eight meters up. So I'll go see if I can um, get any further. this area you should have yelled out and told me we we're here but we're not getting through Looks like we punched a hole through it.
Okay, the nozzle's getting stuck on something up there. And we can see what we we're looking at before. Might just go grab a shovel and have a little dig. You can tell that, right? Main power supply. Got to watch out for that. I think I found the problem. If you can see that, completely smashed. And that's why the jetter was getting stuck. Right in there. So I've uncovered this broken area. So that was the original break. And um, there was another break under that bit of concrete. I'd chisel that out. And as you can see down here is the power. You always got to be careful digging around people's homes. Like there's no tape, no sand. It's just laid beside the storm water. It's, you know, 400 deep. It's pretty dangerous, but you just got to be careful. So I'm going to cut this through here um, and then probably go back on the jetter and just try and see if I can flush any uh, more of that loose stuff out and then look at reconnecting this up hiding over here. We are doing a good job.
Okay, I need some water. R2-D2 Now it's full Need to remember that power's there so I don't put anything through it. Dun 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 dun. Let's go see what fittings I have. that on there for up the jetter So the little root cutter, single barrel, you're gonna run this up, pull it back and try and flush out a bit more of this crap out of that line before I reconnect it all up. So that's the end. Ah, oh, 
Vamos, ¿sabes? One long tree root, six two in length. Okay. Remember, the power is just there. Okay, I'm going to chuck on the the cameras over there. I'm going to set that up. I'm going to run this down here and have a quick look and record it. the end where we opened it up I think there could be a break in there somewhere This is a very weird angle. might work.
<laughs> Might glue that little contraption together. Oh, so he's a cleaner, thank you. Okay. Okay, where's my marks? See how I drew a line, then a line through it? That means they line up with each other. Same with that one, lines up. You have a rule, if you can't see it from your house, it's all good. Fanco tool over here. I'll be a bit short. Yeah, Let's see if we're going to pop this over. get this oh we got this glue glue glue
So I've got a mark here. That's uh, where I want the end of my fan coat to get to. Beautiful. How good would, did we go, mate? The toad and I found the blockage, repaired the blockage. Now we're going to backfill and tidy up and put that downpipe back together. So all tidied up. There was about from that pink cross all the way up to the repair. So about seven meters of mud uh, that had to chop through mm. and separate. And then we've done this little repair down here. The customer, she's going to get some sand and um, she likes to do some gardening and she wants to backfill this, so I'll leave that for her. So all looks good. I'm done here. Let's go wash up. So I'm absolutely covered in mud. I have mud everywhere. Don't worry about it. <laughs> 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 what was that? Oh, I have like waterproof seat covers. <laughs> I've already changed my shoes and put my muddy ones in the back. <laughs> okay, we'll give him a little wash. He was a good helper today. And same with our toad. He was a good helper. <laughs> The customer said she nearly threw a shovel at him and stabbed him. She thought he was real. <laughs> All right, we're done here. Customer's happy. I'm happy. Viewers are happy. Subscribers are happy. See you in the next one.